Catherine. This is Gracie's Dr. Bailey's office. Just giving you a call with your embryo transfer schedule. So um, I know we talked about you starting birth control pills yesterday. You will take the active tablets only, which is the first three rows. Um, your last birth control pill will be on Saturday, June 5th. Um, you will most likely have a period coming off that birth control, and that is totally fine. Your baseline ultrasound is going to be here in the office Wednesday, June 9th, uh, between 7.45 or 7.30 and 8 or 8.30 in the morning. Um, so again, 7.45, 8.30. That will be blood work and ultrasound. I will, let's see. I'm going to call in your esterase tablets and some other oral medications to your pharmacy that I want you to pick up. Just hold on to. You're only taking birth control from now until June 5th. So <clears throat> I will give you all of the instructions on the rest of those medications later on. Um, your transfer, if everything goes according to plan, will be uh, Wednesday, June 30th with Dr. Bailey. Um, and then I also need you and your husband to print off and sign an updated frozen embryo transfer consent form from our website and bring that with you on June 9th before we can get you started on medication. So if you have any questions about where to find that on the website, just give me a call. But it is on the website located under treatment consent forms. Um, and I also need your most recent pap smear. I just need a copy of that from the last three years if it's good and normal. Um, and then we'll follow up on that TSH level. I did get your message today, and I saw that you um, got my order that I resent this morning. So we'll follow up on that. Um, and then if you had any other questions, give, just give me a call. But that is about it right now. And I'll send a prescription for your progesterone at your baseline on June 9th. So I hope you have a great weekend, and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye. <sighs> Well, I just got a voicemail from my nurse with my embryo transfer schedule. So it looks like I'll take three weeks of birth control. The last pill will be June 9th, no, June 5th. June 9th, I will go in for baseline ultrasound and blood work. And from then, they will let me know when to start the other meds and like what to take, which is I know um, the estrus, like she said, and then she said she was calling in some other stuff, so I'm not really sure. I think one pill that they give you is for the day of transfer, just to kind of like relax your body and everything. Um, I'm not sure what else she's gonna call in. And then she said if everything goes to plan, transfer should be June 30th. Oh my gosh. I've been like trying to count down because they said it's like five to six weeks from the start of your cycle. And so I've been trying to just like estimate when transfer would be and off of that what the due date would be. But I actually, I don't know if I did June 30th. So I know our last transfer was on a Wednesday. So I did kind of like look at the Wednesdays. But I don't know. I don't remember if I did the June 30th. Um, so <laughs> that's probably what I'll immediately do is just see what the due date will be off of that transfer. That is where we are at as of now. I'm excited. <laughs> this is crazy. I cannot believe I'm doing this again. It just like all comes back to you. It's, well, I'm not looking forward to the progesterone injections, but I mean, you do what you gotta do. They weren't bad. Like TJ is so good at them. Like I couldn't even feel them when he did them. But if you get pregnant, you have to do it every day. I think I stopped at like 10 weeks. I can't remember exactly, but you like do them like in your hip. And after a while, like you run out of places to put it because you have to do it in certain areas and it gets so sore and you get knots. Even if you do them perfect, even if you use like a heat pad, whatever, it still gets so painful. So sorry, I don't, <laughs> not to scare anybody who might be thinking about going through this or going through this because um, it's totally worth it. It's totally doable. It's not bad. It just gets annoying after a while. So I'll be glad when all that's done. Praying so hard that this transfer works. A Lincoln was an A. I think I've already talked about this. I don't remember. This one is a B. And the other two are C's, which I know it's not like set in stone like what those mean. Someone can have a grade A perfect embryo and it not work. And then tons of people have had like C's. Maybe even worse than that. And it's worked. So 
I try not to like think about that too much. None of these are genetically tested, so we don't know if they're genetically normal, abnormal. For all we know, they could have said Lincoln's was abnormal because it's not 100% accurate. Um, we don't know genders. We don't care about genders. I didn't care last time and I don't care this time, but now I'm just like so curious after having Lincoln and seeing them and all that kind of stuff. It just makes me curious. Like, do we have all boys? Is there a girl in there? Well, this one look just like my husband. <laughs> Trying to finish up work today. We're leaving on vacation tomorrow. Tonight, I am going to spend some time with some family. I may try to bring you guys along. I'm not really sure. And then tomorrow night, tomorrow I'm going to pack. And then tomorrow night, I'm going to my niece's um, dance recital. And I'm going to bring you guys along. But yeah, um, I may see you guys later. Bye. I actually did want to do one more thing. <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and look up the due date. Like when you get pregnant naturally, it's not like 100% accurate. And I don't know if it's technically 100% accurate for IVF. Um, but when you get pregnant naturally, you base it off of the first day of your last period. But that's not accurate because you can ovulate. As soon as you get off your period, you can ovulate. When normal people ovulate, or you can ovulate late. And the day of like conception is really the main factor of when your due date is so like you can thank your three weeks five days but really your three weeks are just whatever so with ivf you know exactly when they're putting the embryo in and then the embryo obviously this one will be like plus six days because it was frozen on day six so the only difference so i'm gonna put i don't know if you can see this so this has like an ivf due date calendar and so you'll put like the day of transfer so mine will be june 30th and then you pick the type of transfer so they have day three day five i'm going to pick day five i think mine technically is day six so that might change it by a day <laughs> okay so um due date march 18th could possibly be march 17th because of it being day six. And it says that um, my second trimester begins September 10th, which is amazing because my birthday is September 11th. So that would be me going into my second trimester right before my birthday. And then we're also leaving to go on a beach vacation on September 12th. So that is like perfect timing. Um, I didn't want to be sick on the beach trip. I was so sick with Lincoln, which I ended up um, taking some meds that actually really helped me. My nurse at the time recommended it and it was um, a Unisom tablet, but you have to get, there's like two kinds, you have to get a certain kind. Unisom tablet and a B6 every night before bed. And it worked like perfectly from the, the night that I took it. I, I didn't get nauseous. I had like all day nausea and actually throwing up everything I was eating. Um, but I remember we went to Heber when I was like six weeks pregnant, I think. And I was like having to pull over on the side of the road and throw up and everything I ate, I threw up and it was terrible. So not to say that I won't be throwing up in second trimester or that the medicine won't work. I don't know, it'll be fine. It'll be worth it, but that's just pretty cool timing. So I'm headed to, um, go pick up Lincoln from his babysitter and I got a message on my phone that said I have four prescriptions ready to be picked up so I'm pretty sure I know what two of them are like I said the estrogen and maybe it's like a Valium or something like that but I'm not really sure what the other two are so before I go get Lincoln I'm gonna go pick those up can I help you uh, pick up for Catherine Amos. For her? Catherine Amos. Thanks, you too.
Okay, so just ignore the um, cocoa melon in the background. <laughs> but um, I'm home from picking up Lincoln and picking up my prescription. It's actually been like a couple hours probably. Um, I had to get ready because we're going somewhere tonight. But I figured I'd open this and see what we got. Okay, so there's the Estradol. I remember this looking different last time. It was like, um, like these, it's, it was a different shape blue peel. So I'm curious. I think last time I took, um, no, I think it was Ezra Dial. I don't know. It just looks different. I'll have to look back at my Instagram. And then we've got prednisone. Now I remember taking this. And then we've got the diapam, which is what I was telling you about earlier, which is what will um, I'll take the day of transfer to relax. And then doxycycline. I didn't remember taking this before the transfer. I was thinking this was what I took before the retrieval to keep from getting like an infection or something. So that's what I got. I'm just so curious about this because um, last time I took this, I had to do it both orally and another way. <laughs> So I'm curious if I'll be doing the same thing with this one. So, yeah. But TJ just got home and is getting ready. And then we're going to go hang out outside and do like a little bonfire and um, roast some hot dogs and maybe do some s'mores, stuff like that. So I got the rest of Lincoln's bathing suits in. So I thought I'd open them real quick while TJ is getting ready. Come here, Lincoln. Lincoln, come here. You want to open them? Let's see what you got. Come here. Lincoln, come here. <laughs> You're so interested. Come here. <gasps> oh. Here. Look what you got. <gasps> oh, that's pretty, isn't it? It just looks more yellow on the camera, but it's like a limey green. Look how cute. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? And then this was the other, like, one piece one that I got. It's got a little sharks on it. Lincoln, you're going to look so cute. And these are the other three trunks that I got for him. This one reminds me of, like, the side by the bell or something. <laughs> They're so cute. And then, of course, we had to get something with pineapples on it. And then these are my favorite of all time. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? I will try to link these down below in case you want to get them. Don't need someone to save me. There's something's off The way you look and how you pause When you talk I think you said enough You said you love for me Something brand new You said this is something You would never do Here we are in your car Let me see who you are Who you really are Cause there is no one other
other than me that can make you feel the way you feel when I hold you. I think I said enough. You said love for me, something brand new. You said this is something you would never do. Here we are in a car. Let me see who you are, who you really are. Yeah, don't need you here to say you're sorry. Cause if you're gonna. So I look a hot mess right now, but um, I just pulled up to get my first spray tan. <laughs> and I'm actually kind of nervous about it. I never wanted to do a spray tan because I didn't want to look all orange and streaky. Um, so I got a little advice from a friend this morning. And now I'm actually kind of nervous because um, I wore leggings. Hopefully that doesn't streak it. And then also I have to go home and make a cake. So I'll be washing my hands and stuff. So. I don't know. I gotta figure that out because I don't want to wash it away. I don't want to get like streaky or spots everywhere. So hopefully this wasn't just like a big waste of time. Hey guys. So I'm not the best at this vlogging stuff just yet. I always forget to come on and kind of like tell you guys what I'm doing. I went to my niece's dance recital tonight and I took a few videos. So I'll add a few clips right here. If the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy To the ones who lost their hope it for today's video thank you for watching stay tuned because we are headed to Heber for about 10 days so I will definitely be vlogging our trip bye no 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 don't touch it come here